A couple days ago, we took the headlights out of the 350 and we sent them off. When I showed you them, they were absolutely destroyed. They weren't even working. They were flooded with water. I needed to get them fixed for the drift event this Saturday. That's at night. If I don't, if I don't have headlights, then I can't do the event. And Chris from Flatride is actually here today. And I had my headlights sent out to them and they fully restored them and made it look fucking awesome. And did some cool little, little, little tricks that we're gonna show, but I wanna introduce you guys, you off here. This is Chris. Chris so is the man behind the show. Now, you didn't do the, the full restoration. It was, you said it was, you said it was Jack? Yeah, a big part of the build was Jack. The paint was peeling, they were ruined. Jack actually, like a surgeon, came back in there. He welded everything up with plastic weld rods. He, he just, you'll see, they're he, dope. He, he fixed them up. So Selena's finally gonna have her eyes back and we can put her back together because she's been a Frankenstein. That's yeah, incredible. I mean, what you can do. I pretty much asked you to do it in like two or three days. Right. How long does it normally take you to do like a headlight restoration? I mean, normally if, if we have the lights, you know, two, three days worth of work, it's it's not a bad time to do it. It's just in this case, all the parts were custom, they were like special ordered, and they actually didn't get here until 8.30 last night. Typically people buy a brand new set of lights and have those modified, because if you're gonna put a bunch of money, hundreds or thousands into lights, it's kind of better to do it on a perfect Yeah, set. yeah. So there's obviously a lot of things that you can't get rid of, like you were saying, these stress cracks that were in the actual like, yeah, this well, is in, it's this. deep in the plastic. Actually, it's got the name that says Koido. That's the OEM maker of a lot of the Nissan headlights and all that. Yeah, they're and then you different. Look at this one, and yeah. you got Depot. So they're actually both factory lights, but the lens has been swapped. So apparently- Someone fucked it up before yeah, we like even touched it. Yeah, like as bad as that lens is, apparently it was, the other one was worse because they put that on there. This car is a salvage title. So I think it was the accident. They probably had to replace one of the headlights. Oh, yeah. How'd you get my fucking logo in there? That, that's the coolest thing to me. That like, that is insane. That looks so cool. So that actually wasn't even my idea. I'm gonna, I'll give credit where it's due. Matt, the owner of the Retrofit Source, we upgraded it to uh, the STIR lens, which is something that people do so you get a, a way better output, yeah. way cooler uh, low beam look. And they do a custom etching service at the Retrofit Source. So I want to get rid of this big gaping hole. All this grossness in the back, is because this is how the taillights were when we sent them. We're gonna cover up these holes. I have one of the back caps from the original headlight. We only have one. The car only came with one. We're gonna fill that and make it look pretty. And then also a little trick that Chris is gonna show us is Dynamat, which you normally use for sound editing in your car. You can see it underneath the headlight here. We're gonna use that to cover the hole, right? Yeah, it's pretty much the shittiest, worst way you could possibly cover the hole, but it's efficient. It'll work, it'll do well, and it's simple. So in a pinch, that's the only way to do it. The reason why we're covering them too is because when we're at the track and I fly off as normal, dirt goes everywhere. If dirt was to get in one of these holes, that would just be bad. We don't want that, that's just not good. And these are all the brand new ones. So for all of our fly ride light bulb kits, this is this is how it started off. We looked all over the internet until we could find the best bulbs that were out there, tested them, made sure that lighting wise, they were just super, super bright. And um, they're dope, we love them. So this is the newest, um, the newest Bluetooth RGB controller. So I can do it from my phone. Yep. Right? So you can do it from your phone from Morimoto. It's the first time I've seen it. I just added a couple of these little connectors to it when I, I opened it up as soon as it came in. But I've never downloaded the software, so we'll download it to our phones and see what this thing can do. Their software actually has the ability to dial it into just one color. You can make colors fade on and off or blend between different colors. So we're gonna find out. I ha actually haven't put it on my phone yet to find out everything it can do. Dude, that is so sick. Yeah, that's what like, I was saying, isn't that weird? Yeah, I don't know if I can get that on camera. Yeah, look, right here. Dude, that's insane. You'll be able to see these even with the low beams on because they're so bright. It's got a strobe setting. It should work to where oh. you can do that. How much brighter is this than like the normal one? Because like I said, when I go to Adams, it, we're drifting at night. I can't see shit. So is this gonna be 
It'll be a lot Is brighter. it brighter than normal? Yeah, if you look at the stock headlight lens, it's got almost like it looks like little dimples in it. Yeah. Um, it's called a Fresnel lens. It's basically to soften the light output so that it's not as harsh on oncoming driver's eyes. Right. But if we just want a ton of output, then we can replace that Fresnel lens with a crystal clear lens, which is what this is. It just also happens to have the etching in it. So finished product all said and done. We have the demon eyes on and what's my favorite is we have the housing is now black underneath it. So for if, when that isn't on, we have the black headlight. It looks so good. And we have this app. So we can control the light in any color they want. So we can do bright green and then we can go back to the red, blue, and you can go to fade. Now they're brighter, which will give us a little more vision at night. That's pretty bright. Our stock ones were absolute shit. This is a huge improvement. They look really clean. And you can even see the... Oh, that, there you go. That's the shot. Now you can fully see it. Now the real question is, can you see that logo imprinted anywhere? I am obsessed with how these actually came out. Besides from doing the whole entire lights, they blacked them all out, redid them and polished it on the inside and replaced the, like, the bulbs with now LEDs and this etched lens. It's not often that this warehouse is empty, but today is one of those days. And it's trippy to me. Like, it's literally weird not hearing anybody in here. Today has been an absolute madness day and I haven't shown it through this, but the video that's supposed to go out today, which is really yesterday for you guys, never went out. I didn't finish editing it and uh, I had to put it aside to film this video. The video is gonna be a little late, which would have already happened for you guys, but I'm gonna get back on that and finish that up. I wanna thank Chris from Flyride so much because he did that in a 24 hour time frame, and we did everything and that was all just to help me to get ready for the track. So huge thanks to Flyride, be sure to go check them out and that's the place to get your headlights redone at. Thank y'all so much for watching in today's video. Tomorrow we will get ready for the track and go and attempt drifting again. Thank y'all so much for watching, bros. I will see you tomorrow. Peace out and keep moving forward. I do it for the video. No. Alright, Calvin. No. Imagine on that one. No. Hi. Hey, hey, good. Oh, good. I was kidding, man. I was kidding. There is no sippy action going on in this car. I don't have any bloopers in this video, but I do want to apologize for the miss upload that I had. It was supposed to go up like 24 hours ago, but I'm, I'm a day behind on all my uploads, but I'm going to do my best to get back on track. Bro, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.